Welcome to the Protagonist Pub. My name is Tammy, and this is where characters gather. And it is the last weekly review of the year. Next Monday is Christmas, and uh, Monday after that is New Year's Eve. It's New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve or New Year's Day. And so this is probably the last weekly update for 2023. So in that regard, let's do some housekeeping. Um, I hope you all have a very, very merry and blessed Christmas and a wonderfully happy new year. I hope you get everything you want for Christmas and that you get to spend it with people you love. I have all of the Bookmas videos done. They're all posted. They're all described. They're all ready to go. All of that content is done. So I am very thankful for that. It has been a lot of work. I am changing that format in 2024. I already know that. And it's been fun, but it's also been very stressful. So a little housekeeping. Um, I briefly hit 150 subscribers yesterday and then somebody dropped off, which is fine. So I want to thank all of you for being here. It has blown me away. I never expected a single subscriber, let alone triple digits. I am so blessed and, and, uh, you have all made me less isolated and have given me a wonderful community to talk books to. And I am so thankful for that. So <sighs> let's talk about what I read this week. So before we had to turn the rental car in last week, and yes, the car is still in the shop. Knock on wood, say a prayer. It's supposed to be done today. Of course, the dealership has told us that multiple times at this point. So, say a prayer, it's actually done today. Anyway, we went to the library before we turned in the rental car and I did some browsing and ran across a book. The Christmas display it was new, it looked cute. This is the book. Opened it up. Second series. So I went and I found the first in series. And they're both by Julie Murphy and Sierra Simone. And didn't read the inside flaps. They were Christmas books. They looked cute. Okay. I wanted to give them a go. Do not pick these books up. Do not. Came home, read the inside flaps. This one is the um, Christmas story of a adult film star who um, is uh, trying to film a Hallmark movie without anyone knowing what she is. And this one is the story of a sex tape star. I'm sorry, they're Christmas books. They may be completely worthy of being read. However, lying, deception, that kind of content in a Christmas book is just odd and not something I wanted to read. So. They will be going back to the library when I pick up my hold. Unread. I highly do not recommend them as a Christmas book. Uh, yeah, just don't. So the last DNF of the week was an arc on my Kindle. That was Coconut Drop Dead by... Oh, do, 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 do. Trying to remember who writes it. Let me see if I can find it really quick. 
Let me see if I can find the title page. Olivia Matthews. This was a NetGalley arc. I made it partway through chapter three. And I don't believe this is something I've ever DNF'd a book for. However, it is the reason I DNF'd this book. There were too many characters. I am, I wasn't, I didn't finish chapter three and there were too many characters. There were easily 20 plus characters introduced in those three chapters. And I didn't know what was going on. I couldn't keep people straight. It was, it was too much. And it wasn't the first book in a series and it, it in the series and it, it was, it was, it was entirely too much and I wasn't invested enough to continue to try and slog my way through so it got DNF'd. Unfortunate because it sounded interesting but it just it was way too many characters. Okay so what did I read this week? I managed to read three books this week. Um, so, let's talk about the Kindle Reads first. First up would be The Pocket Pair by Emma St. Clair. This is the third book in the Love and Sheet Cake Texas series. And, um, it started off good and then it really slowed down for me. And I think part of it was I had a headache and it just, it, I wasn't connecting. And so for about the first 40%, I was struggling, but it's Emma and I trust Emma. So I kept reading and then we hit the 50% mark and the rest of that book was wonderful. I cried. It had character growth and it was sweet and it was, Two people coming together to realize that they're better together than they aren't, than they are apart. And I didn't find this one, even though it's a romantic comedy, I didn't find this one super funny. Like I found um, book two, which is The Bluff. But I still love this book and I will continue to read Emma St. Clair because I trust her and you know if you're looking for a light-hearted but characters with depth romantic comedy series and I recommend Emma St. Clair. The books are on Kindle Unlimited so you know there's no harm no foul. If you're lucky you'll find them in your library and I, I really enjoyed it by the end so it was worth my trust. Next up would be uh, Public Anchovy by Mindy. <sighs> See, this is what happens. Hang on. Quig I want to say Quigley is her last name. Uh, anyway, the picture's right there. Can't find it on my Kindle at the moment. This was in that galley arc. It publishes either at the end of this month or very early in 2024. I want to say it like publishes the 29th of December. And this is, I will put what number it is in the series down below. I don't remember. It was the first book I have read in the series. It is the first book by this author for me. And it is a closed door cozy. And our main character, um, Delilah, owns a pizza restaurant and she's catering a ritzy party for the library at a, um, one of the library board members' homes. And through a series of mishaps, one of the outgoing members of the library board ends up dying and a huge snowstorm strands 
the catering crew and library board members at the house because they can't escape because of the storm. And this was a very well written, twisty turny, closed door mystery that I thoroughly enjoyed. Now, do I think the title related really well to the book? No, I do not. Do I think it relates well to the series setting of the pizza restaurant? Yes. So it's a hit or, hit or miss for me. Um, the characters are very well drawn. They are not two dimensional. There's a hint of romance. There's, you know, bad guys and good guys and, and a little bit of family drama. It was just, it was, it was everything you want in a cozy. I will go back and read more because this one was, was, was so good. Um, I really like closed door cozy mysteries there you don't get them very often and this one was very well done I didn't end up guessing until the end I that's how well done it was so I was impressed and so that brings me to my one physical read this week it was a library book it was Christmas. That is The Santa Suit by Mary Kay Andrews. A little short novella. It's not anything taxing. I read this in one afternoon. It is 207 pages. So it's not anything you can't go and pick up. Um, our main protagonist is Ivy. She purchases a couple acre farm in North Carolina, sight unseen after her bitter divorce and moves into town. And on her first day there, she discovers a Santa suit left by the previous occupants. And in that suit, she finds a note from a little girl and it's obvious it's a note from a long time ago and this note spurs the rest of the story this was just a charming sweet christmas story of settling into a new small town helping others finding yourself finding a potential you know new love interest Reuniting a family and preserving the past all at the same time. And it wasn't preachy and it wasn't um it, it was just it was charmingly sweet. There is some spice, it all happens behind closed doors. There's no swearing. I just loved this book. I really did. I, I haven't really been in the mood for Christmas. I'm not gonna, you know, mince words here. I just, I'm not in the mood for Christmas this year. I'm not sure why that is. It happens sometimes. Um, but I'm definitely not in the mood for Christmas this year. And that's okay. It just, it, it happens. Trees up, house is decorated, but it's not, I'm not in the mood. And this book helped start to get me in the mood. I'm still not really in the mood, but I'm more than I was. So I do recommend it. It Mary Kay is a reliable author for me. If I need to pick me up, if I need to laugh, if I need small town charm even if it takes place in like Atlanta I you know that that's all there for me for her so that is what I read last week what do I plan to read before the end of the year um hopefully the rest of my pile of possibilities list so 
I think there's three books left on that list. Will I get to them? We shall see. I do have a bunch of books on hold at the library and there's some more library books downstairs for me. Now that videos are done for most of the year, I'm... I have time to read and I don't have to scramble to get all those videos uploaded and edited and described and uh, all the stuff. So that takes a lot of pressure off. I will do a reminder. There is a Stuff Your Kindle Day for Romance on the 27th of December. I will put a reminder on my community tab the day before. I hope you all have a very happy and blessed Christmas and a wonderful New Year. And I will see you next time here at the Protagonist Pub. Please comment down below, like, and subscribe. And have a very Merry Christmas.